Good morning, we are back out at the farm. Unfortunately, I do have quite a bit of beans to go left and uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take the rest of my corn in. I've only got about three or four loads of corn to take in for me. Dad's got a contract of 5,000 bushel of beans left uh, for January here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get all that done before we really tear into stuff. He is started into his car doing a little bit of wiring and stuff like that. But we are waiting on a few things uh, like the carpet to put in the for the interior of that car. So not a huge deal. While we're waiting on that stuff to arrive, I may as well get this truck and done, just get it out, out, over with. I do have a new toy. I'm gonna test it out on this bin. It's gotta be swept out. We'll see how it works. It might be a total disaster. I don't know, but we'll find out. Well, here is the new toy that we'll be testing out. It's an Ego bristle brush broom. I do have Pretty much every tool by Ego. I've got, I think eight batteries. There's six sitting there, but yeah, I've got all of it. I've got the power head, the string trimmers, the pull saws, the chainsaws, the push mower. Absolutely love their products, but we're gonna try out the bristle brush. I bought that just to clear the driveways and sidewalks at my house, super fast without a shovel. I can just use that thing with one hand and just kind of as long as it's a, you know, a dusting, like up to two inches, maybe even three, it'll, it'll just push that snow right off. As soon as you drive over it though, I mean, you're kind of dinked. But anyway, we are going to try that out. So I'll be hauling today and I, I believe dad will probably be working on the car. He finally got his toolbox set up and got all those tools in it. So I'm going to go ahead and take his old one home. I got that cleaned up and polished. If I really wanted to, I could get it, you know, basically like new again but good lord the the dumb thing's over 20 years old it's got rust on some of the the bottom drawers over there so i just cleaned it off used a little hand glaze on it and actually it would look a little better but it's still got a few uh like some of this stuff just needs wiped off really the glaze is kind of still there so i just didn't take the time to do it but he will be working on this car i imagine this is his uh, car when he was a kid, 1974 Dodge Charger. He's got a lot of it done, a lot of it painted. The doors are done painted. We just gotta work on the front fenders and the, uh, the hood. The hood, he, is, uh, he still needs to do. So we've gotta sand those down and get those painted yet. But right now we are working on the interior. Got the dash in. He's doing a little bit of wiring, which the wiring schematics that we have are for my 1973 Roadrunner that we finished 10 years ago. So he's going off of that. So it's a little, uh, it's a little off, but I think he's figuring it out, the gist of it. By the way, this top is original. How it stayed this nice, I don't know. But anyway, we are gonna get all the interior in. We're waiting on the carpet, like I said. We'll have to run some of the wiring back to the tail lights and all that before we put the carpet down. But then once we get all that done, probably throw the console in, the seats, all that stuff, get the doors hung. And then we go on to motor, which he, had, he already had this sent in. They just cleaned it, um, fixed a few odds and ends. We'll be putting the motor back together, back in there. And then quite frankly, like I said, just the, the front fenders and like the front balance and stuff like that, I believe still needs done uh, in the hood. The grill he had out, he sent out, had it re-chromed. So that'll be a fun little project. We should get that done this winter. He's got pretty much all the parts sitting here, waiting to go on the car. So yeah, we'll get this hauling done and hopefully we can get in here and help him out a little. Easily. 
would be using a 5 AH battery. Uh, I've got several 2.5 AHs and one uh, 10 AH battery, but I believe the 5 will probably get me done with what I need to do here. The 2.5s would probably work, but... Could be a total bust, but I may revolutionize the way we clean bins out here. As far as my dad's car goes, um, obviously, you know, a lot of it's already done. I didn't start recording these YouTube videos until basically the end of this fall. Uh, that car has been in the shop for probably the last two years now. He just kind of tinkers on it whenever he gets a chance. And usually something else comes along. We ended up doing uh, an 856 for somebody we knew. Um, he's done a motorcycle in between then and a few vehicles have been in the shop. He prioritizes a lot over his own vehicles, but I think he's finally retiring from the bodywork and all that stuff, even though he's been saying that for the last probably 10 years. He's retiring from that. Hopefully, we can just get his cars done. He's got, I want to say like five or six of them laying around here that just need to get done before he's in a wheelchair and can't even think about working on a car anymore. <laughs> I should probably get this uh, get this auger lifted up so that I can drive under it. Otherwise, it's going to be in the way. Should be plenty. I do have the side slides open on this bin, so I should have to start the sweep soon. And we'll run over and grab that bristle broom. See how it's going to work.
thing yet. I really don't know how I feel about it. Scrape pulling the corn down off of the walls into the sump before you start the sweep. I mean, you just sit there and let it spin and it's just pulling them down. But as of right now, I don't really have a verdict yet on whether I like it or not. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna get this last piece of the door out so I don't have to constantly step over it. getting a little behind here so we're gonna try it out see if it's a flop or not the ego power head I got a 5 8 battery on this bad boy bristle brush bro the sweep this ain't it but we're not gonna quit there we're gonna let that sweep just run and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that sweep go all the way around a few times get that corn as far down as she will go and then come back with that thing and I think that's where it's gonna be awesome Obviously following the sweep, can't really get it flung up over the sweep like I do, you know, snow removal or anything like that. It's a lot fluffier, a lot lighter. I can throw that stuff like four feet. But with that, behind the sweep, no go, in my opinion anyway. So we're just going to let it run. Usually that's a disaster. Um, if you just let it run, a lot of guys do it anyway, but then you got to clean up the mess afterwards. It's a lot easier just go behind the sweep in my personal opinion this could end up just making a lot more work for me i don't know but we're gonna let that run test it out one more time i think it'll actually shine once the floors are down you know to an inch thick of corn i could just sweep that stuff right into the center no problem at all so okay we are headed back to marquis the ethanol plant i've only got 1500 bushels sold for january here so not a huge amount but I'm just going to go ahead and clean out because corn is around 680 right now. So I'm just going to get rid of it all. Not even going to worry about putting it on a contract. Well, we've gotten to the point where we can just let that thing go around a few more times. And then uh, we'll break out the bristle broom, I guess. I'm probably going to grab a shovel and a broom. Not that I don't believe in my methods, but... Uh, just in case I need it.
It was fast, but I can't get it away from the walls. If I took off the shield, the plastic shield, I could flip it upside down and get it to kick it away from the walls. And that would probably work. But I'm not gonna tear this thing apart just to do that. I'm just gonna shovel it away from the walls far enough, get it all pushed to the center with this thing because I haven't even broken a sweat yet. And then just use a regular broom, just broom it in because this thing kicks it too far. So it's not a precise tool. Okay, you know, this isn't a very big bin. It's only 30 footer, I think. I think this would really shine in like our 55,000 bushel bin over there where you only gotta sweep away like three or four foot from the walls and then just walk in there and run that tool. It'd be fantastic. But I've cleaned around the edges now. I'm just gonna run this sweep a little bit, get it away from that spot on the wall. Go clean that edge, and then we're gonna let the tool do the rest of it, so.
obviously I have the sump shut off when I'm uh, doing the fine cleaning here. You never want to stick your hand down in there because this, the withdrawal is literally just right down in here. Get your hand caught in that or your foot. It's going to be a bad day. It's also why you see a lot of farmers just cut these off, these jawstrings. Because if you're leaning down, you know, and you got a long one, which some of these hoodies do, and it gets caught in any of those spinning parts, like a withdrawal or a PTO or anything like that, it's not pretty. You better hope the string breaks before it brings you around. Anyway, we're just doing some fine tuning here. It is raining pretty good. Started raining, I don't know. Basically when I started cleaning this out. So we're probably gonna shut it down for the day. So I think the elevator's probably closed by now. It's getting windy. It's raining pretty good. As for the verdict on that thing, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I thought it would be the bee's knees, you know. Just wouldn't even have to hardly do anything. If it was a bigger bin, and you had two guys to where one was just, you know, cleaning away from the walls, like four or five feet, and then one guy running that and just pushing everything to the center, I guess it would be a pretty good tool. But other than that, I couldn't slow it down. It was just one... One speed or no speed, basically. I mean, there's a little feathering there, but I'd, I'd bog it down just enough to where it would just stop and I'd have to pull the trigger again. It would really start flying. So obviously it was, uh, it was a venture nonetheless. Always got to keep trying new things. But the, that one, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a fail because I didn't have to sweep the entire bin. I just used that thing. And it, I will say that using that the the broom weighs like 16 pounds or something like that on the front so you don't even got to push down or nothing you literally just can use one hand and just go back and forth across the corn since it's only spinning one way it just pushes it all for you you don't have to do any of the work you know i was on my way home here and i was just kind of thinking what are your guys' best ways to clean out a bin do you just leave the sweep run and then go in and clean it later do you do you go behind the sweep and clean as it's going or what I'd really like to know what, what you guys do because obviously there's always different ways to do things and everybody's got their own opinion and I, I'm actually very curious. So leave a comment below and let me, let me know how you guys clean out bins or if you've heard of any other ways that guys have been cleaning out bins. I know there's obviously there's a lot of things out there now. You got those bags that inflate and send all the grain to the center of the bin. That's pretty cool but there's got to be a better way you know than just the old broom and shovel. Or do you just leave the grain to sit there until next year after running the sweep? Or do you just let it sit there? I don't know. So let me know. Let me know down in the comments.